what is up youtube it's your homeboy josh back with another video but for today we're going to be comparing zapier with microsoft power automate so let me introduce to you power automate and zapier quickly first let's go with zapier so basically zapier was founded in 2011 they are a no code platform and they allow you to connect two or more applications together. So this tool actually has quickly become popular among thousands of users worldwide. While Microsoft Power Automate, previously known as Microsoft Flow, you can develop workflows and integrate them with um, Microsoft Office applications such as Outlook and Excel and Dynamics 365. So, you know, what would be the main differences between Zapier and Power Automate? So first, um, with Power Automate, they offer a free plan. They also have a paid plan that starts at $15 per month. They are perfect to integrate with Microsoft products, and they also integrate with 550 plus applications. While in Zapier, they also have um, a free and a paid plan, but the paid plan starts at around $20 per month or $19.99 per month. So it's perfectly simple because it has you know no coding integrations and they can also integrate with around 4000 applications which is you know gives them the upper hand at this category and let's see what would be the main features of these two so first with zapier integrations again 4000 and they have multi step zaps this is included in the payment i um, mean the paid plan they have a point and click editor, they have conditional logic, and they also have data formatting. Now, for the Power Automate, they can connect to most Microsoft applications, connect to hundreds of third party applications and services. They also have multi step workflows. So, basically, multi step workflows is just almost the same with Zaps because Zaps is, um, uh, how does it's a personalized word, a customized word for Zapier or, you know, the word workflows. Now, they have approval workflows, they can do conditional workflows, and they are suited for large enterprise companies. That's where Power Automate, you guys. So, basically, that's all that you need to know in deciding if you're going to choose Microsoft Power Automate or Zapier. Because when you choose among two applications, I mean, not just these two, but if you're, if you're ever stuck in a decision, you know, in between choosing two um, applications, software, or whatever tool is that, you really just want to align your personal needs and your personal preferences to the services offered by the tool so that in the long run, you won't be um, going into the challenges of, you know, looking for tools that isn't available or isn't offered by the software or the tool that you have chosen. So that's all for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to like and share this video. Also, kindly hit the subscribe and notification bell for a lot of more videos like this. This is your homeboy, Josh, and I'm going to see you on the next video.